Why, hello, Third Thrill Seekers, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the new dive coasters coming to Canada's Wonderland. So, just yesterday on Friday, I was at Wonderland during the past winter preview day. And while I was there, uh, the construction site for the new dive coaster was there clear as day. There was no really any fences blocking out the construction site. Well, of course, there was on the pathways, but from the vantage points, you can easily see the construction sites. And I was able to get some video footage and some photos of what's being done over there. And uh, the big sort of eye catcher that you will see in here is the tunnel. Now this tunnel is right in the middle of the vortex helix at the, uh, the near like, the peak of the ride, I guess you could say, where you're at the fastest point. Uh, so like the dive coaster will dive right in the middle of that helix, and it will come out over right beside Skyhawk. And uh, the interesting part about this is that you're diving right into the water. Now I knew that they were going to have a tunnel for this dive coaster before I went to the park. Like it was already confirmed that it was going to happen. And not just that, but they're adjusting the waterway, or the lake. And I didn't really think that they would have the tunnel start in the water itself. I thought it was going to go, like, from one side of the lake to the other. But no, it's going to start right in the middle of the lake, in the middle of the vortex helix, which is interesting. So, you're going to go into the tunnel by the helix and we come out by Skyhawk. Now there are some wooden crates, I think these wooden crates are covering up some footers possibly, I really don't know for sure, maybe they're just there for trees that they're going to plant, I, I highly doubt it because there's a wooden crate right in front of where the track would come out in the other tunnel, so I think they're just hiding the footers. And uh, so it's probably going to turn to the left after the tunnel. And another thing is you're seeing footers over the water as well. So at some point in the ride, you're going to cross over on top of Vortex as well. And uh, there's some more footers behind Vortex, uh, basically where the path uh, beside the water park used to be, or Skyrider used to be. So that land is being taken up now, finally. <laughs> Another thing I want to point out here is right by where Skyrider used to be, they're kind of like digging out what appears to be a little path. Uh, I believe this might be the queue line. It's either the queue line or the exit, but I highly believe that this is really the queue line. Uh, so it looks like the station will be uh, across the water right where Skyrider used to be. The lift hill will come out uh, along the water possibly. It'll have a turn to the right. So you're actually going towards the water now, and then right where you dive is right on, like, just right above the water, right above Vortex, and you dive down in the middle of Vortex, into the water, come out on the other side, and uh, you'll turn to the left at some point, uh, possibly doing an inland loop. So you'll turn to the left, and then who knows what will happen from there. We did see some footers over the water, just like I mentioned just a moment ago but that's pretty much it. So I guess I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the footage and uh, on a side note, yes, when I was there, Sledgehammer was closed, but then again, that was expected. And another thing is that for Vortex, it appears the cars has gotten a new paint job. So instead of blue and gray, it's now basically a rustic old wooden and metallic sort of look. As usual, enjoy the rest of the day here at BBP Games and I'll see you guys next time. So it looks like the dive coast is going to go into the water and come out on this end. So the station is going to be go over, over there, I believe. So, right by.
so you can see why they had uh, support beams. And, uh, that. So the, I mean, you can see the difference. Hold on, Yeah, so station's gonna be going over there. It's gonna go up somewhere over here. Dive down into the water. Come up over here. Who knows where? Actually, oh wait, no. Okay, well we can see footers over there, so it's going to cross over the. Yes. Okay. So it's going to turn around this way at some point, and it's going to cross the water according to those footers over there. That's it. All right. So right over here, right there, we can see where the queue line may possibly be. And uh, there's somebody down there recording. Okay, so you can see where the queue line may actually be. Right here. Uh, so it may actually be right across Mine Bus for the entrance, most likely. So that's actually where Skyrider was. And the station's gonna be right over here somewhere. And the lift hill is going to go up. I don't know in exactly what direction because it might be a turnaround point at the very top. And then it's going to kind of stick out right, uh, pretty much right above the tree line here. Go down right in the middle of Vortex, where the helix was and right where you saw the uh, uh, hole.